Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo Breakdown, we're going to talk about a martial arts instructor who's a Guinness World Record holder, but somehow still has no idea what he's doing in terms of self-defense. Let's check out the video and let's break it down. got done watching in that video beat his student up like a human punching bag goes by the name of Harry Krishnan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. No, not Harry Krishna, Harry Krishnan. But so that way we can clear things up and make it a little easier to pronounce and say we're just going to call him Sensei Harry. <laughs> Maybe I can borrow some of that and put it right up in here and help me out with my patch. But anyway, Sensei Harry is a practitioner and instructor of a martial art called Kalari Payatu, which some consider to be the oldest martial art in existence. Personally, I disagree. I think the oldest martial art was probably invented way back when cavemen had to fight stop animation dinosaurs. But I digress. Sensei Harry is based in India and he runs a martial arts studio called Ikavira Kalari Payatu Academy. Try saying that five times fast. And from everything that I've seen about this dude, his claim to fame seems to be a Guinness World Record that he broke. That record was him using a sword to cut 61 pineapples off the tops of volunteers' heads. I actually have that footage, and I gotta say, I'm super glad that I wasn't a volunteer. I sped that up for you so that way you didn't have to watch all 30 seconds, but let's dig in a little deeper and we can see a major issue that happened. As you can see in the video, everything is starting off very well. He's like a regular fruit ninja, slicing and dicing pineapples off the tops of people's heads like he's got a personal vendetta against pineapples. He's cutting them up like he's in some kind of cheesy kung fu movie where he has to avenge the death of his master that was caused by some type of evil ninja pineapple. And then things go terribly wrong. Right about there. Why don't we zoom in and get a closer look? As you can see, he almost turned a pineapple massacre into an actual massacre. I mean, look at this guy's face when it happens. Just look at it. This guy is looking directly at somebody with a look that says, Thanks, Steve. I didn't even want to do this. You almost got my eye taken out by this wacko. This video reminded me of those high-end stylists who use the samurai swords to cut people's hair. And that dude almost got a free haircut and almost got a free shave. But anyway, besides the fact that he almost hacked off a volunteer's face during a Guinness World Record challenge, he's actually also really bad at self-defense. And I mean really bad. Let's take this arm bar as an example. The guy's coming forward, he falls back as if he's trying to pull the guy down with him. And he's pulling the guy's arm, but at the same time he puts his foot on the guy's chest or stomach and is pushing him back, which would do the opposite of what you really wanted, which was break the guy's posture down. Instead, he's helping the guy stand up, which would help him get away. Also, I love how he casually just passes the hand off, like he passes the grip from one hand to the other, like the dude wouldn't be constantly trying to get away the entire time. <laughs> Airtight technique so far. Then he lifts his leg up and puts his leg over the guy's neck, and somehow that causes the guy to fall over like he's got some kind of inner ear issue. But the goal, the best part, has to be the finish. Clearly the guy's not in any trouble whatsoever from an actual arm bar. There's no real pressure on his elbow. It's so far down that the guy could probably just roll over and escape. There's nothing holding him in place. And there's no real reason for the guy to tap. It's non-existent arm bar. It would not take a genius or anyone trained to actually get out of that. But if that display of world-class jujitsu didn't convince you of Sensei Harry's martial arts mastery, let's check out another one. So in this situation, you're caught in a non-rear naked choke. I call it a non-rear naked choke because that's not how you do a rear naked choke. You reach back and somehow turn the guy around without addressing the choke whatsoever. 
then somehow the guy magically falls down and you finish up with the old school Austin Powers judo chop. Judo chop. Yeah, it's not gonna go down like that. It's most likely gonna go down something like this. <laughs> Seems about right. But I gotta tell you, I watched almost all of this man's videos. If he has videos I haven't seen, I don't know where. I watched his YouTube, I watched his Instagram, I watched all of them. And he seems to have one universal answer for almost every self-defense situation ever. What might that magical answer be? This magical key to unlocking all self-defense knowledge that you would need to defend yourself in any situation? Just cross the guy's arms. Problem solved. You're in a situation like you're a pro wrestler finger locked with someone else in a self-defense situation? Not a problem whatsoever. Just cross his arms. There's a guy attacking you with two knives simultaneously trying to stab you? <laughs> problem solved. Cross his arms. Oh, and for that one, don't forget to spin. Guy approaches you, puts his hands on your shoulders in a very non-threatening way? Haha, <laughs> problem solved. Cross his arms. But what if the guy is behind you putting his shoulders on you in a non-threatening way? That's easy. Reach back, cross his arms, and then for some reason he'll fall over. I don't know why. The amount of nonsense I see come out of this guy's videos is hilarious, but really sad at the same time. Because you have to remember, he runs a martial arts studio. He has adults and children who are looking up to him as some type of grand martial arts master specifically because he what broke a guinness world record with pineapples i mean the stuff that he's teaching is garbage i have to put an exclamation point at the end of this video right now with showing you one more nonsensical video scenario you're standing there someone reaches up and grabs a hold of your lapel or your shirt or whatever they might grab in that area so you take your opposite arm you reach across and you grab the person's elbow and just slightly pull and for some reason, that technique turns gravity all the way to 11, causing this person to fall down. And I guess give up on life. Nonsense! All right, boys and girls, we've reached the part in the video where we actually have to rank this guy on the Dillman scale. Let's see here. This guy clearly has no clue what he's doing in terms of boxing, at least, by starting off by abusing his students, by just punching him in the head. You can't condition someone's brain. Then it's followed up by his horrific jujitsu. And then of course, his answer to everything being just twist the arms and somehow the person will fall and or stop fighting you for some reason. And the fact that the man just kind of seems to be just making shit up whenever he's teaching self-defense. I'm, I'm hard pressed with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy four Dillmans. I was tempted to give him three because it seems like the guy might have his head in the right place. He just might be so egotistical that he can't go over his own bullshit and actually go train somewhere to learn something legitimate. But I'm going to go ahead and give this guy four out of five Dillmans. I was really close to giving him three, but I had to give him four specifically because of him hitting his students in the head. That's not beneficial. It doesn't make them any better. You can't condition your brain. It's abuse. But I got to know what you guys think in the comment section. So if you are a member of this page, that means you have access to these emojis. You have the Frank Dukes emoji, the Ashita Kim emoji, and of course the Dillman emoji. Feel free to put them on that scale. Now that we're at the end of the video, I need to find out who watched this video all the way through. Today, so I know you watched the entire video, I want you to post a random YouTube link. It has to be a YouTube link, no outside websites, just a random YouTube link before you leave your comment. To anybody who actually goes to those links, I want you to do me a favor and reply your reaction to that link uh, right underneath their comment in the comment sections. It doesn't matter what the link is. It doesn't matter what the link goes to. I don't even want you to hint in the comment sections about what that link is on YouTube, but make sure it is a YouTube link. I'm really looking forward to this one. It should be really interesting to see what you guys come up with, and I'm excited to see what happens in the comment sections below. Also, side note, I'll probably start doing things like these questions of the day on our YouTube shorts just because they're easy to pop out, and I like the interaction that you guys have had lately in the comment sections. Most people are really respectful. Most people are pretty cool and have good interactions with each other. And even though some of you guys might not agree with each other, that's fine. It's just cool to see open dialogue and conversation about martial arts. With that said, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and memberships, and all that other crap that people online tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit. My baby got robbed the other day by the generate. So she wanted to learn some new form of this self-defense. So she did her research and for rules, did online and found this tool said he could move shit with his mind. He called himself Sifu Parzimmerman. He got a dojo with a strip on his
Cause in a pun Now she spends all day trying to break boards with the thoughts But the only thing she's broke